Hey Siri, what is the Waste of Time podcast? The Waste of Time podcast is an independently recorded podcast that covers a wide range of topics, hosted by Let's Talk Cars host Oliver Giles. Hello, welcome to the Waste of Time podcast. This is episode number six. I'm here with Ben Rose. Say hello, Ben. What's up, guys? I'm Ben Rose. Last time, I'm going to apologize. Last time episode, it re- I would say it ran long. It ran forever. We ended up, I think, with an hour and ten minutes of episode. I didn't even bother putting the post show on SoundCloud. The regular episode was so long. It just it took, I think, like four hours to edit that off and on. Because I, I wasn't editing for four hours straight, but it did, it did take a while to edit that. Anyway, we're here. This is episode number six. Let's get started. So, now, life in lockdown. Ben, do you want to... Don't worry, uh, it's only going to be longer than the last one. No, it won't. We, I, I made sure it's all, like, la, like last time we covered a lot of stuff in just a long time. This time we've got not as much stuff to cover. I mean, so it was fun for us to make, but yeah. not so much for you guys. That's, that's I mean, I, I, I listened to the whole thing. The, the yeah. pacing wasn't horrible apart for, I think, the, the, the uh, media segment pacing was pretty bad. Anyway, um, Ben, your, 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 so, your personal topic here is just ankle hurts, but you want to go on with general? What's, like, what's changed yeah, since so, we recorded? <laughs> so last time was I, was I, um, Done with school. Like yes, I think it was. The, I think it was the day that you went to school to do the final stuff, like clean out your locker and shit. Oh, okay, that was uh, that was Thursday, Friday, Friday, Friday. That was Friday. That was no. Oh, yeah, that, that was Friday. No, no, that was that, Thursday. That was Thursday. Yeah. Week. Okay, so so I'm done with school. Like I don't yeah. have to go to school anymore. So I am I now? I had a grad pack and all that. Uh, I. T- took graduation pictures this weekend so like we went to the park and there were people outside and there were tons of them and they were staying six feet apart but we don't know if they had masks or not and that kind of scared the hell out of me you didn't um, see yesterday i coughed for a little bit because what you didn't see the masks or not no they didn't have masks on. oh okay so we we i had a mask on right uh, yeah my family refuses to put on a mask i saw the pictures on your instagram yeah the, the one you put on instagram everyone i saw on there had the uh, masks <sighs> Yeah, well, that's because the police were right next to us. Yeah. But the minute they left, we took off the mask. But I didn't take off the mask because I I think that having a mask on is very important. Yeah, I don't really care if it clogs up my goggles or my glasses. I'm protecting other people from myself. Goggles. That's that's good enough. Yeah, like, yeah. no, it's like, we, we, also, we it's like, yeah, we both know the challenge of wearing a mask with glasses because it makes it fog up badly, but it's better than, it's, yeah. it's better to have that than to yeah. get other people sick or get yourself sick, yeah. Anyway, yeah. um... um yeah. Also, did I tell you guys about in January what I did for I I built a basically I built up three batteries a chemical yeah. battery uh, like one a, a shittier chemical we, battery. We we mentioned this very briefly in your locker segment in the last episode. We we're talking about the stuff you found in your locker. You talked about the cable. So I found the stuff from my battery in my locker, right? Yeah. And I finally got it together, and there was a bag that had mercury in it and had like iron oxide. We we, we talked about this so in the last like, one. Yeah. I, you poured it down the drain. My didn't family you? likes to be. My family likes to reuse. No, not the not the mercury. You don't put mercury down. Yeah. So I just found this normally in the storage locker. So I don't know how to dispose of it. So I just put it in the trash. And I feel like that that is not a good way. To dispose yeah. No, that's of not. It's not not great. Also, I'd like to point out very quickly now, since you know, since we're recording this. Um, a very like normally we've recorded this on different days before, but this is like this, like but like, normally it's always like eight o'clock, eight thirty, something like that. We're recording this at like one forty p.m. on a Friday. And now, I think, apart from Saturday and Monday, we record on every single day of the week. So, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday, and Sunday. We recorded on Wednesday? Uh, the first podcast was on Wednesday, yeah. Episode one. Really? Oh, because it was during spring break. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think it was, it was, like, that was, that was really weird, but, like, um... Yeah, yeah, we did. We did on Wednesday, but I think this is the first time. Cause like, but like, even like, even though we filmed on diff- like, even though we record different days, I think this is the first time that we've actually recorded at a time that's not like eight or something like that. Cause we normally do, even though we've done different, different on different days, we're normally pretty regular with the time. This time, it's it's a ridiculous time. A- anyway, so uh, what's changed for me since we did episode five? That was that wasn't that, that was uh, we that was last Thursday, so almost a week ago now. Um, I was like over a week ago actually, to be honest. But um, cause now it's Friday. But anyway. Uh, what's changed for me? Uh, I, I finished high school. That's changed. We'll talk more about that probably in the next episode once I've had a, like, a week for it to sink in. Hey. But like, yeah, yeah. I, th- I, think, I think next episode I'll have, I'll have, like, I'll have like, a week for it to sink in. So then we'll talk about it more in the next episode whenever we record that. Either a week or four days uh, if we record on Tuesday. But... Audience, at the time of 
recording. Oliver just got out of uh, high school, so... Officially, my, my Instagram... I, I actually put a little time on my Instagram story, a little countdown on my Instagram story today, saying... Um, I think I think it was, it was like... Um, Time, I think it was like time till like the nightmare of high school ends or whatever it was. That's officially still going until three o'clock, but I finished early today. Got my final, got my health final test in. I got, I got like a one page essay assigned to me yesterday, which is a pain in the ass, but I finished it all. I'm done with high school. On to college sometime the next year, uh, coronavirus permitting. We'll see when I start. But yeah, um, that's, I think that's the one big thing that's changed for me in the last, in the last, I guess, just over a week since we recorded episodes, uh, episode five. Um, another thing I do want to mention here, though, is that, uh, so where I live, I live in a farming kind of community, right? Um, Watsonville, California, our, I think I mentioned this last time, our main, our main export is strawberries, lettuce, we export a lot of fruit around here, but where I, where I live, right, the farms are finally, um, they're finally going back in business, people are planting things, there's, uh, sprinklers going back on for the first time since the, since the lockdown really started, so it's, we're showing signs of picking up our, I guess, our natural export around here in Watsonville, California, which is kind of cool, because like, I live in between, like, two, like, uh, I'm not really going give to give away exactly where I live. I'm not going to really pinpoint my location. But the Driscoll's, like, the main Driscoll's area, right? Driscoll's strawberries, stuff like that, is less than 15 miles from my house. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, Ben, let's go. Let's roll around into summer ideas. Summer ideas? Oh, yeah. boy. Um, oh, uh, I got an internship for, like, this thing in San Francisco, it's called Opportunities for All. Essentially, it's just you um, uh, you just go, I mean, you just sign up for an internship. You get a $1,000 to $1,200 stipend. That's not bad. Uh, you work for however long you're in Florida and whenever. Yeah. So I'm doing that over the summer because it gives me something to do. But in the meantime, I'm being a lazy-ass bum. I tried to get an internship. Nintendo Switch today, but they're sold out everywhere. And Except they're still very. They're still. Really want to get a Switch today. Okay, Ben. If you're if you're uh, if you look at like if you, even if you if you like look for like say a used one, there's still like for like the lowest gigabyte one, there's still like two two fifty, and that's not even including the dock. That's just the console itself. Not even, they don't have used ones. Amazon does. It's selling used ones. Amazon uh, Newegg has no. some refurbished ones. Newegg has some refurbished ones. Yeah. When was the last time I ever mentioned Newegg I've in anything? Looking. I'm surprised you're even still around, but yeah. <sighs> You only need to use it so you can get a fucking switch. I hate like switches are selling out so fast. I could yeah. get the switch light, but like don't do that. Don't 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 drop down to that level. Like the switch light was just no. Uh, surprisingly, you can you can actually actually look up because I was actually I was actually thinking about it at one point in time. You can still use the Pro Control with a switch light, even though it doesn't have a any way to connect to a screen. But you can anyway. Um, also, the, there are people who the p- people have made some like ridiculous third party a- adapters that you can connect to it. Like, it's a it's a charging output to HDMI, some bullshit, so you can't connect the switch light to a screen. But it's very, very janky. Anyway, I think actually last yeah. time I, last time I actually ever used Newegg is I think for my ninth birthday I got my first ever computer it was a refurbished iBook G4 from uh, Newegg. That thing was a piece of garbage uh, even back in uh, 2011. Anyway. Um, so, I'm gonna talk about, uh, yeah, so anyway, so, um, any, any interesting interactions you've had since we've, uh, had, did, did episode five? Um, I mean, I saw my friends. Does that count? Like, I saw my friends. That's, that, that's, that, at this point in time, with, with what's going on in the world right now, that's a, that's a freaking milestone, dude. Well, yeah, but it's because we live in, it's because I live in the city and they live in it, too. I'm gonna see Still. my friends on Sunday, too. Still. We're taking pictures of Mark. Yeah. Uh, if you want to see the stuff, follow me on Instagram at uh, Rambos and follow Oliver at Oliver underscore Giles underscore. I'll, I'll, I'll put screenshots of the profiles here or whatever, on the YouTube version. Also, 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 I'll also link it in the SoundCloud and YouTube you descriptions as well. Oliver. Also, do also do links in the SoundCloud and the YouTube Oliver. descriptions. Um, I also All post right. I also post highlights from these episodes in my Instagram story for the. Uh, I actually have a highlight on my, <laughs> my on my page. I think it's just called Waste of Time Podcast or whatever. Or it's Waste of Time. Like the- Anyway, um, last time, if you guys pay attention, I mentioned my very interesting Lord of the Rings-style quest saga that is the journey of my PlayStation 4 controller. It's been to, like, five different states now and it's finally making its way to California. Still have not received it yet. I ordered it back in, like, late October, early November of 2019, and it's still on its way here. It's an Ice White PlayStation 4 second-generation controller. Awesome controller. Really want to get it here. Uh, still not here. Like, it was, again, like, it was not Amazon Prime because it didn't actually have that as an option, but again... Even if it's not Amazon Prime, like I've ordered some not, not I've I've ordered some non Prime stuff before, right? And the longest it's ever taken something to get here when it's non Prime is maybe two weeks. Now it's been like oh, I think it's been like what five six months or more. It's been it's been a while, all right. 
And so it's finally making its way from, I think, I think last time I reported was in uh, Nevada. It's finally making its way here. It started in Arizona. It's been to five states since then. It's finally, make, finally making its way over to California. Um, you think people are just trying to use it on the way? Like, they're <laughs> just taking it? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. No, this, also, this this was not, this is, I made sure to get, like, normally, like, if it's if, if I'm buying a video game thing, like, I don't, I normally, like, if I'm buying it, in a very rare occasion, I actually ever purchase a disc online, I don't, I don't care if, like, if I ever buy, like, a, say, like, an actual game disc itself, I'll get it used, whatever, because, like, if I buy it from GameStop, the rare occasion I ever do that, like, they make sure that it actually works, like, the work, it's perfect working work, but, like, they won't sell you a broken product, they always, they always test stuff first, um, plus they also have, like, that 100% money back guarantee for, like, returning within seven days if it's used, but, um, I, 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 like, whenever I buy a controller, I buy, I buy it new, um, I almost bought the Fortnite controller just be- for the Xbox because, like, it doesn't say Fortnite anywhere on it, right? It's just a really cool-looking purple controller that's awesome. Um, however, it came with, apparently, I don't play Fortnite, but it apparently it came with some in-game stuff, so it was $80, so I said, no way. So I bought the PS4 controller instead. Anyway, I'll do updates until they get here. I might even do an unboxing when it gets here, but it's a really cool controller. Anyway, Ben, your personal topic is Ben Ankle Hurts. Um, I think, that you, you, okay. I think that, isn't that, that's also putting your slide, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So this is just gonna. I'm, we could just delete this part from the slide because my slide is very um. Very personal. Oh, I, I have a really good topic for my slide. Other than my ankles, other than my ankle hurts. So my ankle. Uh, wait, wait, Ben. <laughs> so I was doing jumping jacks. Uh, ben, wait, ben, do, do you want to mention that on your slide? Because there's two more slides I think before we get to yours. Oh no, it's fun. I don't want to mention it on my slide. I'll mention it on this one. All right, go ahead. This is like a life in lockdown type thing. Sure. Yeah, I guess it is. So yeah. I was doing jumping jacks the other day. Uh, and by the other day, I mean like a week ago, and then I landed funny on my ankle. And at the time, I didn't think much of it, so I proceeded to run, jump, dance, hop on one foot on it. And then it started to hurt. You also it ran down a hill. Up, and I was like, oh, fuck. I fucking ruined my ankle. So then I had to put on, on Saturday, I put on an ace bandage, and I put it on for three days. Uh, I iced the thing, and I elevated it, and finally, it's gotten better. But my parents are like, oh, you need to see a doctor. I think you have a fracture. Like, I'm not going to a doctor's office, and I don't have a fracture. I, I, I just didn't do so well on my ankle. I just had a bad, made bad yeah. decisions. It's like, you, you hurt your ankle, and then you said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do things that will, unequivocally, that will pretty much obviously make it even worse. Yeah, great. Wait, Ben. You, oh, no, wait, my you, ankle doesn't hurt. I know, I know. But you, 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 put, you put a picture of that. Was that on your Instagram story or was that just a post that you made? It was on my Instagram story. I, you want me to... I, I'll send you. I, took I, think, I think I took a screenshot of it because I knew it was going to be podcast material. So I, I kind of pre- proactively record... I kind of like proactively take pictures for podcasts sometimes for the YouTube version. Again, if you, uh, I'll, I'll put links to the YouTube version from now on in the yeah, description of all the SoundCloud stuff. So if, you, so if you guys are listening to this on SoundCloud, you want to take a look at it. Because, like, oftentimes for the podcast... Um, it's not, and it's not really any longer than it is normally on SoundCloud, but, like, um, there's normally, like, some footage that runs in the background or some pictures on the YouTube version. So, if you guys are listening to the SoundCloud version, I'll probably put a link to the YouTube version with all the other links for this one. Like, for, like, all, I think now, every single week, I'll put links to the Instagram, the YouTube version, and the, uh, playlist for the, uh, for both the YouTube playlist for the thing and the music playlist as well in the, uh, description of SoundCloud as well. Anyway, um, so, yeah, Ben. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, one of my friends, one of my friends is... One of my friends watches this podcast. Hi, Harry. How you doing? And he says he really enjoys the uh, the, the, the the footage sections. So yeah, part. it's a lot, it's like, a lot of fun to do too. And that's and that's. A- also, you should, um, you should definitely watch the YouTube if you guys are check out. I, I actually made. I'm not gonna call it. So it's kind of a parody of what Rooster Teeth did. Like Rooster Teeth, who actually kind of in some ways inspired this podcast, they do a thing called Animated Adventures, where they have animators who work on staff for them to anyway do other shows like other other animated TV like the actual like shows that they run right. But they animate like like two minute sections from the podcast. Last week, I made a very low budget episode, something like that, where I just pretty much did a very fast rapid fire slideshow of stills from episode five with Ben's story of how flowers are made. Go check that out; it's on YouTube. It's uh, it's only about thirty something seconds, but it's really fucking funny. It's just it's absolute stock images from from the internet. You know, just 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 like it's just like it's this the highest quality imaginable. Anyway, Ben, should, should we should we move on now to my flowers. side? Yeah, so speaking of very long-winded things that yep. uh, are really funny, let's talk about Oliver's essay title. So, um, I, I had a finals week this last week, right? And so, with finals week comes, in most cases, in most cases you guys probably already know this, finals essays and presentations. So, for my science class, I, I actually got this essay assigned to me five weeks ago. I've been putting it off until last week. I don't really give a shit about it because, just, I don't, I don't know why I don't really care about it. Anyway... 
Um, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna. So um, so on the uh, on the so my school uses Google Classroom because it's simple and easy and free and whatever. Anyway, on the Google Classroom description for the assignment, my teacher said, my my science teacher, my science teacher. I'm gonna quote her right. Let me just bring it up so I can actually quote her. Um, make sure your title is short, clear, and concise. No long winded crap. Just to quote her on that one. Um, because in the past, like there's some there's been some people who've been messing around by putting like 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 full sentence ridiculous titles, right? Just like absolute bullshit up there for titles. I'm like, you know what? I've been stuck at home for two weeks. I already, I already, I already got my sorry for two months with coronavirus lockdown. I already, I already got my senior prank out of the way, but I want to pull one final prank on my science class because my teacher has a pretty good sense of humor. So I made I spent like 35 minutes picking out the longest, most ridiculous title possible. And here it goes. My title for my science essay was. Can <clears throat> I read it? I'll, I'll read it. Um, the progress of solar science throughout the ages, its uses in modern machines, lives, and the evolution of solar science. The path going forward. Solar panel. Sol- solar power. What can it do for you? A scientific report. It's got a hyphen, a parentheses, three commas, a semicolon, an EM dash, and a fucking ellipse, all right? This thing on an iPad Mini 4, which my teacher uses to grade, if taken vertically, it's two and a half lines of text. Oh, you forgot to capitalize solar. I know I did. I know I did, Ben. I I realized that. I realized that about, like... Capitalize of an N. I know, I know. Here's the thing. So, like, Ben, I realized that, like, after... Because, remember, I I actually use Grammarly Premium to do my essay, right? Uh, So, I realized that about two minutes later. I'm like, you know what? I don't give a shit enough to go back and correct it. I know... Because, I also, I ended up getting um, an A on my essay anyway. I talked about everything from, like... I talked about solar power and how it's been, like... How the sun's been key in like in mechanics and in like machines that humans have developed everything from the sundial and solar cooking to modern solar panels and electric cars. So can I tell the story? Can it was, it was a good essay. What? Go ahead. Can I tell a story about this? Yeah. So I was lying down in my bed one day, just uh, like playing uh, Yoshi's Woolly World on my uh, Wii U gamepad, and then all of a sudden Oliver's texting me about this whole title, and he's like, "Hey Ben, you want to hear the title?" I'm like, "Sure," and I then I laughed my ass off, and then. He was talking about all this stuff, so I'm like, yeah, well, everything's like solar energy and stuff. Yeah. And he was just like, you could, you could hear him have a eureka moment. Yeah. Right? Like, all of Thank you for, sh- uh, yeah, shout out to Ben Probe on that one, yeah. I'm not trying to flex, I'm just saying that. No, 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 it was very helpful. <laughs> it must have been so hard. Yeah. It must have been so hard. And the title was, I mean, no, I think I mean, that was. The essay was actually pretty easy. So much of a prank. The essay, I wrote the essay in like a total of like three hours. Well, speaking of doing things wildly, let's talk about your tent again. So the Wildman Oliver update. Uh, okay, so I've been th- this has been going for I think since episode I want to say two or three. So probably uh, probably about a month now of this podcast. Right. We've been do- um, I've been spending like, a tent outside. Um, I've actually not the- so okay. Um, I've actually not uh, published. I-, I think I said last time I was gonna have that video of the uh, the temperature check of the of the of the, of the of, and also the Q and A video for Wildman Oliver up. I've not done that yet. That'll probably up sometime in the future, maybe. I don't quite know yet. Again, I've been spending the whole most of my last week. Most of my last week has been dedicated to final stuff, so I don't really have much time to really do much else in terms of like just like recording videos stuff like that. Um, I'll get more into the, I'll get more into the, what I have done with my free time a little bit later on in the media segment towards the end of the podcast. Anyway, with the whole Wildman Oliver thing. Um, I've not been bringing the monitor in there as much anymore, just because I said before the monitor having being able to play Xbox in a tent, it's cool, it's fun, it's in no way worth the payoff. It's a cool little gimmick, it's a little novelty, but it's not really worth it. Uh, I also I did spend the night inside um, on, on my bed for the first time in a while. Boy, was that a mistake because I actually did not have my uh, my pillows inside. I actually, got, had, I got pillows in the guest room and they were in no way tall enough to support my neck. Um, so pretty much, I woke up with severe neck pain the next day. Uh, cause like I did an all nighter, which I stayed up. Doing, I watched some TV, but I also stayed up studying for um, so not studying. I, I, I stayed up. I stayed up doing stuff for my health final, which uh, was um, an annoying. Uh, I, I I had a bunch. Pretty much my health final. It wasn't wasn't so much of a big final test. They assigned me like just do a bunch of like just do it. I think it's like so pretty much. I've been doing like these online. If you guys uh, do like online stuff for school at all, I do. Web, there's a website called Edgenuity, which pretty much it's pretty much I do like it's pretty much like digitalized. It's pretty much just like digitized textbook chapters. I do like. 20 textbook chapters in like a week. So I started doing that all night. And so I got no, I got no sleep, went for an awesome five mile walk at five in the morning, got to watch the sunrise. That was pretty awesome. But then I came back actually taking a nap. But anyway, so put, put, needless to say, I was actually pretty tired that night. So I decided, you know what? I, I just kind of collapsed on my bed inside that night and fell asleep. But apart from that, apart from that one night, I've actually spent the entire, I've actually spent the entirety of, 
I guess last month in my tent outside at night. Except for last night, where apparently I went sleepwalking, because I went to sleep in the tent at, like, 9 o'clock, because I was feeling tired, because I've just been, you know, doing finals all day. Mentally exhausting. I woke up about 3 a.m. in the morning, face down on my bed, in my clothes. I don't know what happened. Also, it, it, the slide says you need to mention your one, your all-nighter. I did I just mentioned that. I did, I did, did mention that. All right, so this next, so this... Yeah, that was pretty weird, though. the next one? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay, so this next one is in response to a um, it's in response to a viewer mail request, uh, and this viewer mail request was one of the strangest things that we've ever gotten. Yeah. It so, says, responding um, to a request in episode four for ideas, you guys should do a bit about funny street names or a thing on the virus and gay. So, first off, I've, I've, I've actually I actually sent back an email to the guy. Names. We we actually never, I so I actually emailed the guy yeah, back and said, it. "What do you mean by the virus and gay?" We've not heard back from him yet. Um. Also, at the end of the podcast, we'll try to give a link to our for the email for this one. Uh, we'll give an email. We'll give an email link and a little bit of a shout out towards the end. Um, uh, but anyway, actually, I've, I've actually did get. I actually did get. Actually, I sorry, I did get an email back from the guy, but it was did not respond to the virus and gay. So that we can give out what his name is. Um, it's just it's very generic. His name is Marcus Smith. So shout out to Marcus Smith for this one. Um, funny street names. I love like. I think ever since we found a certain name, which Ben actually has on his slide, part of the slide, uh, back in sixth grade on a big wall map, we both have, I, more specifically me, but hey, we, both, we both kind of been like in love with this funny street and location names, so funny street names and funny place names. So, Ben, you want to start us off? We'll go back and forth. Ben, you want to start off with your first one? I'll do okay, mine. so like, there's, so, are we just supposed to do a description or just say the name? Let's, let's give it a little bit of a description. Okay, so back in the day, in sixth grade, Oliver and I were looking at this wall map, and we looked at this thing called Mexican Hat Utah. And it doesn't seem so funny, but then you look at the reason why it's called that, and it's because there's a rock formation that looks like a sombrero. So they thought it was called a Mexican, Mexican hat. hat. <laughs> you want the fancy hats, yeah. Imagine if, it was, imagine if it was called Sombrero Utah instead of Mexican that hat. That sounds a lot better, to be honest. That yeah, sounds much better. Uh, anyway, so for mine, mine actually comes from a Danger Dolan video I watched, I think back in 8th grade, or sometime around there, which was like funny street signs. Um, Danger Dolan, I believe, the, I, believe the plan, I, I believe it became Planet Dolan, the channel now, but I actually started watching some of their stuff more recently, just as I, like, I watched, I watched the Planet Dolan stuff, it's just background noise when I'm doing schoolwork, it's actually pretty funny some of the time. Anyway, um, so my first one is a thing called Broom Rape Lane. Broom Rape Lane. It's in Arizona. Oh, um, I have actually... I, I've not been there, but I've driven past there. Because I actually went to Arizona. I, I've, I've driven within, like, 20 miles of that area. Because I, I went to Arizona um, back in November. Um, and uh, I, think, I, think it was, I think it was in November of 2019. And, um, yeah. It's, 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 it's Broom Rape Lane. Again, like... The, I guess like, local government has to approve these names, right, Ben? Is, isn't that how that works? They have to run through local government to get this to be approved? Yeah, but you know, broom rape is actually a plant. Mm -hmm. There's, like, broom rape seed and there's broom oh, rape I, seed. Oh, I know, I know, I know. But, I mean, come on. I mean, to be fair, if you want to see, like, some other, there's some other stupid names on here, especially my next one that we'll cover after Ben's next one, that is just even more stupid. That, again, like, okay, remember, these places have to be approved by local government. Anyway, if, at least, as long as they're street names. Anyway, Ben, you want to move on to your uh, second one? Yeah, so uh, one day I was driving through uh, the town when I was coming back home from uh, next to the I. I will never call it Lake Tahoe because it's next to the I eighty, uh, and we passed this little town called You Bet, California. So it's just like, what? Like who names a town You Bet? Are you kidding me? It's the least funny one of these. I actually have one. Ben, ben actually, I've actually got one after my last one that I mentioned just a little bit because it's kind of like You Bet, California, but. Um... It's, it's, I've actually been there several times because it's on the way up, so when we're actually going to college. Um, anyway, so anyway, uh, this, this, this street, oh, no, that street, that it yeah, it is, Ben. But anyway, so my next one is going to be <laughs> this, this street, that street, the other street, Canada. They are right next to each other. They form a little, I guess, there are, there are three little adjacent streets. There's also this, there's also, as an honorable mention here, this way, that way in Texas. But this one's in Canada, this street, that street, the other street. Imagine giving directions to someone who's never been to your house before. Who, or like, or like going to, going to like, location, location on one of the streets. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's, it's near this street, but it's on that street. If you, if you get to the other street, you've gone too far. Who the hell greenlit this idea? I mean, it's funny as hell, but also, you gotta hate to live around there. It's just not. It, it's Canada, 
Yeah, I know you're nice and all, but also nice. why? All right, Ben. Um, okay, so your next one is pretty pretty up there. I don't know what it's called. I don't know where it is, but I just know. <laughs> so when we were looking this up, I just looked up the word. <laughs> I just looked up the word "butt" on Google Maps, and it just said "butt canyon." <laughs> I, I want to clarify, like the way that the way that at least I find most of these is by going into Google Maps or Google Earth or Apple Maps and just putting it in appropriate words. Uh, for instance, if you search "cunt," c u n t, you'll get the University of Texas because I think it's just um, colleges and uh, universities, uh, na- National Texas or whatever it is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, so yeah, so Ben, uh, you found Butts Canyon Road. Anything else about that? Do you know any history of that, or is it just Butts Canyon Road? Is that all you got? Um, it was, it was, it was founded by Seymour Butts. Was it actually? <laughs> no. Good. Because that's, that's like, a mo- that's one of the most overused jokes of all time at this point. <laughs> oh, come on. That was good. It was good. Um, still, still pretty overused though. Anyway. All right. What's your next one? My next one is Slut's Hole Lane. England has a lot of very good ones. Um, Slut's Hole Lane is up there. That's, yeah, Slut's Hole Lane. Slut's Hole Lane. I, I don't know. It's... I, I got nothing to say on this one. Uh, ben, you're... I, I, wait, Ben, am I correctly thinking your, your next one's also from England, is it not? Yeah, so both of these ones are in England. Uh, so I'm just going to lump these into together because I found these from a, a, a very interesting video on, like, how do you censor things, right? Because... <laughs> Okay. Yep. So in England, there's a town called Peniston, which is P E N I. Peniston. Peniston. And then Scunthorpe. And then Scunthorpe, which is S C U N T H O R P E. Oh, boy. So as you can imagine, that must be hell for censors. Like, how yep. can censors even find out what. what we're fucking, how to how censor that? You're censoring names. So that was really. <laughs> um, Oh, that was really important. If you want to see a video of if you if you want to see a actually kind of funny video filmed in Peony Stone UK, look up uh on you can probably find at least clips of this on YouTube or this full thing on Amazon with Motor Trend. Uh, Top Gear UK did um their their when they built a they built a hovercraft out of a Ford Transit van and drove and did it down a river there. Um, that they started they they filmed part of it in the in Peony Stone. Anyway, so I've got one. I'm I'm gonna have to censor this. Um. I, I, I'm, even though even though it means something different, it, it's it's a word that's very offensive in in, in American English. Um, it means something not that offensive. It, it means the, the abbreviated term means cigarette in in um in British in British English. Um, yeah. But I'm I'm not comfortable saying it, even though I, even though it means something else over there. But I'm gonna censor it probably. So that's in England. Um, that's yep. um. You get the pass, Oliver. Don't worry. Yeah, anyway, another one I want to talk about is one actually I mentioned in California. It's weed. It's on the way to Oregon. Weed, California. Uh, so, I've, I, so on the way, like my parents and I actually, I, so I think um, it's on the way to, if you're, if I, I've actually visited twice, like twice or maybe three times. It's like, if you're driving up from where I live in California, if you're going to uh, Ashland, Oregon, because I've, I've, I've visited my college a few times, once to do a workshop over the summer and once just to visit it for some tour days, right, to see what it's, to see what it's like. Anyway, uh, so my so my family owns a Chevy Bolt, and we've only had to, and so, so pretty much like we can get there on two full charges, which takes maybe like maybe like, maybe like an hour of charging something like that. Anyway, we stopped in uh, Weed, California, to just do a quick top up on the way so, to recharge a car a little bit on the way up there, um, and it was uh, it was interesting because they the weed smoke shop, the weed hotel, the weed fire thingy. I don't there know. are mo- there are multiple signs actually. I'll see if I can find some from my own. Uh, for, uh, from I think I actually put some on my OneDrive. Because like, I actually I think actually last time I was up there, I actually had a different phones. But I actually I actually I actually ported all my all my old photos over to OneDrive before I not OneDrive to Google Drive and Google Photos. I backed it all up to the cloud before I got my before I got my iPhone 11, my my eleven Pro Max. So I'll try to put, either put up my photos. I'll just find some photos and signs from Google. But there's like there's Weed City Limits. There's Weed Weed Dispensary. There's weed, uh, there's weed, there's weed, uh, national, there's, I, think there's, I think there's weed, there's weed airport, there's a bunch of other stuff. Um, weed city police department, it's, weed, weed county police department, it's pretty funny. Anyway, Ben, we gotta move on to your slide. And it's, um, okay, dino so sauce. I'm just gonna do this, I'm just gonna do this really quickly. So we are, this entire podcast is, um, 
it's going to get really heavy very soon. And this is also kind of the heaviness of it. So we're going to start off with, we're going to call it the college board's assness. All right. This is, this whole thing's just the college board's assness. Yep. I'm going to explain it. Uh, and I'll tell you, and I'll tell you when I'm, when I'm done. Okay. All right. So go AP ahead. tests, as you all know, we're online this year. So AP tests are online. And essentially what AP tests do is they give you college credit, right? So you get a four or five or a three and you're able to not take that class in college and you can shave off years and years of general ed classes or elective courses that you need to take by taking APs. So essentially this Reddit user, Dinosauce313 was created April 1st, created his own subreddit and essentially was just like, okay guys, here are the answers to these questions and would anybody like to cheat with me? And immediately when he posted, everyone knew he was run by the college board. And people were mad. They were so mad, in fact, that they sued the college board for entrapment. Nobody actually got entrapped, but it was like the intention to entrap yeah. uh, to entrap people. It's surprising how many crimes you can commit. It's surprising how many crimes are like are like offenses you can commit just for just, just, just by putting the word intent in front of it, really. But yeah. Yeah. But there's also, oh, and also during the AP test, there was a, um, there was an issue that like a thousand people had, which was submitting that thing. Like it wasn't that many people and college board is now getting sued. And one of their stated objectives is to cancel all the test scores from everyone and have them do a retake. And if that's the case, I kind of want college board to win, you know, like I don't want to get my AP test scores canceled. I'm yeah. Hard. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. yeah. I'm done. Right. Yeah. Um, so, you know, college board, but they are being asses and they're, they like, they went full mask off. They're like, this lawsuit is so frivolous. It sucks. Um, we're going to be canceling the scores of anybody who fucking, who, who talks to dinosaurs 313. Like college board is literally Dr. Evil. They're so comically bad. It's not even, and they're, they're funny sometimes, but they're also just evil in general. It's really sad. Uh, yeah. Do you have anything to say about this on? That that is I I didn't do any APs in my schools and have that but I was in uh, yeah but like I was I was in I was in like I was in the most advanced placement in English class to get my school my school doesn't really do APs because I don't fucking know but uh yeah no that that is that is real messed up that is just oh boy the American school system education system and everything in it at this point is just it's just, it's just a whole mess yeah that is yeah, um, yeah anything else you want to talk All about right. on your slide is that it uh no. And now, let's transition to the lightest topic, institutionalized racism within the United States. All right, Ben, go ahead. You're, you're up for this one. So, <clears throat> Minneapolis, uh, well, actually, over the past few weeks, we have seen an outbreak of racial violence. Actually, not even an outbreak, just a continuation of racial violence. But yeah. everyone knows about it, and they see it because it's on their timelines, right? So there was this guy, Ahmad Aubrey, who got lynched by white people who were following him in a pickup truck because he looked into somebody's uh, fucking backyard in february we saw this one woman get shot when she was gaming with her son because the police didn't fucking ask her if she was there or not just shot in twice and killed her we saw some other dude getting shot with his hands up in the air and just the other day we saw this man george floyd who had his windpipe kneeled on by a police officer yeah and the video was so fucking disturbing. I'm gonna go full mask off right now. I've actually not seen that video because, like, I I, I look at it. I, I'm not. I, I I might just for like reference, but also Ben is like, uh, I'm I, do not. I'm not including the video in the YouTube version of this just because. Yeah. No. No so, way. This is really. This but, is really important. Uh, we need to stop. Okay, I've seen something from a lot of people that says that we need to stop using like black people's deaths as like rock porn, right? Like we can't, like we can believe that it happened, you know? We don't really necessarily have to see it, right? Like, I and I kind of agree. I don't think that, I think it's really disturbing. And I think that just just the words, a cop kills an unarmed black man by choking somebody out. Yeah, that's, just be fucking it, already puts a, it already puts a very visual image in your mind that you already kind of know exactly what, yeah. Mm-hmm. We don't even need the video. No. But personally, <clears throat> So then the people of Minneapolis, rightfully so, <clears throat> hold up, they went to um, the police station and started smashing in the windows of the police cars because every single police officer banded together and defended this dude. They fucking, because what's been a thing, a fucking theme through all this time is the police are never held accountable for their actions. Yep. Finally, these two people got arrested, but the, the mayor isn't 
I mean, the district attorney's like, there may be some evidence that disqualifies them. And like, yeah, of course. that's what yep. the district attorney yep. would say. Because of course. Because the sheriff are in leagues. So the people in Minneapolis <sighs> fucking rebelled. They fucking revolted. Burned down a Target. Burned down a police precinct. Burned down a Minneapolis. McDonald's, And then mean? Donald Trump called in the military. Ben? He called in the military. Ben, I'm just going to clarify something. Protests. I want to clarify something. You said they burned down a Minneapolis. Uh, <laughs> Minneapolis, yeah. They burned down the whole thing. No. They, um, uh, they went to the McDonald's. financial district and started smashing in the windows of the banks. And started smashing in the windows of what they saw was American tyranny. I mean, it is American tyranny. We act like yeah. everything's fine and everything's like all together. And McDonald's probably contributed to this fucking police officer's campaign or the sheriff's campaign. So yep. to think that that, that property crimes are not separate from this fucking the unarmed destruction, the killing of black people is wrong. Yeah. And there you have it. It's topic of the day. Also, it's like, so it's for like, Ben, it's like for me, like I've been pretty, pretty much focusing all my energy this week on like doing final stuff. So pretty much, I just kind of like, my head's been like just pretty much like, I pretty much like, so, you know, I don't know if you heard about this, but I think it was like back when coronavirus for like, I think it was like maybe a month in there, you hear about like the people who were like, were doing, they were doing like that, like, I think it was like that wilderness trip. Like they had like no connectivity to the outside world at all. They came out of like the wilderness trip and like all of a sudden everything was in lockdown. Right. It's like that. It's like, I, I knew nothing about this until I started doing research. For, until, 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 until you mentioned the other day, we were talking about research for the podcast. Cause like, I've been pretty much focusing on school, a little bit of free time to relax, more school. That's about it. So yeah. Um, but this is this is this is incredibly fucked up. I yeah, this is just oh boy. I mean, not like you're indebted. To, it's not like you're indebted to figure out what's going on all the time. No, like, no. You don't owe anybody that. But if you know something about it, you should do something about it's it. It's also right? it's like, also a sign of how bad things are with this type of stuff. Is that like if if like it's so like for instance like if if like um for instance it's just in general like if a uh, cop violence against unarmed black man. Headlines like that go up so often, it seems, that it just, it's almost desensitizing at some point, which is just horrible to think about um, in general. It's, it, it's true. And you know what's even worse? That it's a small minority of those headlines. It's like a small minority of uh, black people that get, unarmed black people that get killed by police go in the headlines. Yeah. Like, there's so many more. It's oh, yeah. Like 90%, like 10% of them are reported on and 90% of them aren't. Yep. It's bullshit. And respect pronouns, not cops. Yep. Oliver, you want to do you want to do the creepy voice? You want to do the creepy voice? For for what? For respect pronouns on cops. Remember that? Oh yeah. Respect the pronouns, not the cops. <laughs> if if you don't know, if uh, just just quick background here, Ben and I have been sending each other very. <laughs> We're, we're, we're trying to be. We're trying to. Like, I guess kind of, kind of we're trying to like out weird each other with our Instagram voice messages now. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's like some of those are just. I, I'm not gonna put any of those in the in, in any in any context in this in this video or audio without without Ben's permission, of course. Um, do not do not put my. I'm, I'm not doing it. Don't worry. I'm not going to. Um, but yeah, we've, we've, I've just been. I think it was like I think it was like that time I did it all nighter that day. I came up with like this very very creepy voice. Um, so yes, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's, it's somewhere between Lester from GTA Five and um, that the, the 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 old slug lady from Monsters Inc. Uh, so anyway, let's transition. Let's, let's move transition. on to quarantine media. Sad topic. <laughs> yeah, quarantine media. Ben, do you want to go first on this one? Let's just go. Also, so just a quick, just quick, yeah. thing, like a little update here. So last, the last few times we've been talking about our entire, like, so I think this is a quarantine media segment. If you guys don't know, here's where we talk about just like stuff that we've been like, like music we've listened to, games we've been playing or TV, that, or TV or film that we've been watching over quarantine. Um, and so the last two times the pacing has been a bit. Let's be honest. So the pacing, the pacing for this segment has been absolutely horrible because we've been talking about the full list. Yeah. This time, it's only going to be what we've been watching or playing and listening to since episode five. So, Ben, you want to get started with uh, yes. with your uh, let's go with music artist. Ben, you didn't put anything on the slide here, so okay, yeah. So before we before we start, I did put something on the slide. I don't I see it. Uh, so oh yeah, we, I see one. Uh, so before we before we before I do that, I need to make a correction to myself. Last time I said that uh, Disney music was bad and mm. I got a lot of hate. Um, Did you actually? Like one person. Oh, okay. Um, no, not really. <laughs> no, she was just, a, it was one of my friends, she was just upset. She was just like, oh, Disney music's good. And while I don't agree, I do think that musical music, the musical numbers are pretty good. Yeah. Like, I said they weren't good last week. I, I've been listening to mu more musical numbers. Uh, and, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. I but will defend, new music, I there are a couple Disney, quote unquote, Disney tracks I will defend. The soundtrack, and most of them come from the live action department, so... 
a theme to Pirates of the Caribbean that's always going to be fun, and the, and the theme to Holes, which features lyrics like, by yeah. Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> you just like that because it's Shia LaBeouf. No, no, I actually think it's it's actually it's a hip hop slash rap track. It's actually kind of fun. It's a very fun. They got they got also to be fair, two people from that cast uh, who are they're both like they're all like uh, I think twelve years old at the time something like that. Two people from that cast actually got a music music careers out of that film. So, yeah. Oh. And also, Shia LaBeouf so actually has a record producing. Shia LaBeouf yeah. actually has like a music producing credit or like recording credit for that album. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's like, there are a couple hip hop artists that came out of the film. Holes, I think 2000, 2003 was it? That was a very yeah. fun, yeah, very fun film. It was a movie. Also, it was also it was Disney live action too. Um, also, uh, it was also the poster that we cut out Shia LaBeouf's face on plastered to my locker. Dude, I think I think in um in uh in what was it, in the eighth grade we had that on the cover of our English class door and then I pointed out to our teacher, um that had Shia LaBeouf in it and we, then we immediately cut out his face in the poster. You put on my locker, I think. Uh yeah. Anyway, so Ben, you want to go off? Uh, sorry, you, you you put like one thing on your slide for yeah. um music. So, uh, I've been listening. I, I I basically I should have put two, but I I basically been listening to uh this this rap artist that died. His name is Pop Smoke. He wasn't so good. I like. I don't like him. Like I don't like his music. But I've just been listening to it because I have nothing else to listen to. And also, That's I kind of went down the rabbit hole. Uh, like I love. I like Green Day, but I don't like Twenty First Century Breakdown. That entire album. I listened to the whole thing. I like a few I things from that track. From that album. Twenty One Guns, maybe. Maybe. Okay. 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 Ben. I don't think anything else. Twenty One Guns. I'm not so keen on the. Um, the track itself, but the there's if, if you so on iTunes there's something called the Green Day Collection, which is like nine hundred something tracks. All of that. Sorry, no, it's like it's like nine hours long. It's all the tracks from the original EPs, back when I was still Sweet Children with um, John Kithmeyer as the drummer, who Ben kind of knows actually. Interesting fact. Um, I know his son. Yeah. Anyway, um, but like it's all it's like all that it's like so it's it's the original EPs from the Sweet Children days all the way. It's, it's called the Green Day Collection, and it's not on Spotify as far as I know. But it includes uh, all, the way to, all the way through Training for Century Breakdown. But it also includes stuff like their cover of uh, Working Class Hero and all the other stuff. That they, it's pretty much like all the other stuff they've done for other albums and other artists, too. So um, there's, it includes their John Lennon covers. And, a bunch, and also, it's pretty much, it also includes all, like, their, all their, their bonus cover tracks. Like, also, like, a lot of live stuff, too. But um, on, I, think, I, don't think, I don't know if it's anywhere else except for on the Green Day Collection. But uh, there's... Um, it's 21 Guns featuring Green Day and the cast of American Idiot, and it's actually really, really good. It's got, um, it's got, oh. it's got both Billy John Armstrong doing vocals as well as the cast from, it's, 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 it's honestly, it's very, very good. Anyway, um, it's on, it's on, that album in general is not, you, what about you? Uh, although, um, what about your, what about your music? I mean, I, I know Green Day, uh, Green, Day, Green Day, Paramore, so for me, for me, I think it says Green Day, Paramore, and then also the rest of the Power Rock playlist, which again, I'll put the link down below, which is a playlist I've made, which is now over four hours long, um, which is just, it, it, it's a long playlist, all right, um, and uh, let's see, anything else in there, um, anything else that has to be on there, I can't really think of anything else I really want to put on there, um, that I've been, like, the Power Rock playlist is over, it's like, I think it's like 30, 40 plus artists now, so it's, it's got a lot of different artists on it, so... Whatever's on there, and I think I think I've, I I I think the other day I played Green Day on Shuffle when I was working on my science playlist. So, yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, Ben, you want to do games? Games. Yeah. So since last time, I finally beat Yoshi's Woolly World, which is not an accomplishment because I was on easy mode the whole time. And I started playing. I think it's Forza Horizon Four. Yeah. I don't think it was. Is it the Is it the open world one? And I just learned how to break today. What? Yeah. Is it open world? It's the one with the four. Yeah, it's open world one. The, the, the open, Horizon is the open world motorsport is track stuff, yeah. And then Street is the mobile yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I play Horizon. Yeah, it's yeah, fun. I play Horizon. Um, uh, and it was, it, it is fun. If, until, so I didn't know how to break. So it takes some getting used to, I'll say that much. Yeah, it really does. I, I'm used to Mario Kart controls, so I'm not so used to like having to break every single turn where you need to break. And I kind of like had to turn everything onto the easiest setting and get no CP. I've been playing Forza since 2015, Ben. I still use the stability control and the um and the uh what's it called the um the uh, I I I don't use the assistive braking or steering, but I do. I use the um I use the stability control and the not simulation steering, and as well as the um. Yeah, but that's because. Yeah. But still, um, and yeah, but like yeah, yeah. Uh, it's yeah, it's fun. Anyway, um, for me, I've been playing 
Forza Horizon 4, a little bit of Forza, Forza Motorsport 6, Project Cars 2, which is... you. I, I know you played some of my Forza Motorsport, I think you showed me, but um, it's like Forza Motorsport, but even more realistic. Um, it's got... You can do the 24 Hours of Maw, which is the... If, if you don't know anything about racing, it's the race that was featured in Ford versus Ferrari because that's the best of both. That's, if you don't know anything about racing, I guess that's probably the most. I guess probably the most relevant reference you might get. That film was actually kind of good because that that film Ford versus Ferrari, like I I actually I'm actually gonna probably do a film review on some point actually because I've watched it. I actually own it now on Amazon on HD. It's great. Um, but like it was technical, but like my mom actually watched it. My mom doesn't really know much about car racing, but like. It's to the point where you can still watch it and enjoy it, even if you don't know a lot about cars or racing, just because it has good acting and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, I've been playing Forza Motorsport 6, for, uh, Forza Horizon 4, Forza Street, which again is the mobile version, Minecraft, um, Bedrock Edition, not so much uh, Minecraft Job Edition anymore. Um, but I also have been playing uh, Call of Duty Mobile, which... So, here's the thing, right? I've played some mobile shooter games before. Trigger Fist was a mobile shooter game I've been playing for years. It's, it's kind of fun. This game, it's got in-app purchases and stuff like that, but not any, like, there's, like, there's, like yeah, you can, it's, but, like, honestly, so, it's kind of like Forza Street, I think I mentioned this last time, right? Like, there are in-app purchases, but, like, there's not many guns you, as I figured out, like, it, 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 in-app purchases, they advance you to points where you could always get just by playing the game normally. Like, it doesn't, like, they, like there's, like, no, there's, like, no in-app purchases for guns you couldn't unlock just by, just by leveling up in the game, and honestly... If you are, if you're having problems saying oh like some like the, I, I actually so pretty much what's always really funny is like whenever a mobile game comes out that's based on a franchise like Forza Street or like Call of Duty that's based on like a established console or PC franchise like I first found out about found out this I found out about this kind of like I found out about how uh, Forza Forza Street through, was which was through, was actually through ads on Instagram right so if you look at the comments for the Instagram ad people are like oh it's pay to win it is in no way pay to win all right if you think it's pay to win. Try all the maps are pretty small. Try the shotgun. You will go ahead and delete every single comment you have made saying it's pay to win because it is not. The basic shotgun I ranked up. I think it's like um, team death match is forty kills to win. I ranked up on um, uh, not Boomtown. Boomtown's a Doctor Who episode name. Uh, uh, Nuketown. Nuketown on the Nuketown map with a shotgun in five minutes. All the, all the maps, to, all, all the matches take about five minutes, too, so they're pretty quick. You pick them, it's very pick and play, to be honest, but, like, one match on Nuketown, shotgun, of the 40 kills of my team that my team got to win the match, I got, tw- I got three, five of them. So, yeah. Sorry. So, actually, actually uh, let me just, let me just correct myself quickly. Let me, let me make a quick correction. Uh, um, sorry, team deathmatch is 50 kills, not 40 kills. My bad. Um, but, yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Go ahead. Do you like Call of Duty Mobile? Um, I enjoy it. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay. Considering that my internet is, is satellite internet and it sucks. Also, this actually requires a somewhat beefy internet connection. Not gonna lie, I play it on cell phone service. I, like my friend actually has um, fiber internet and it takes and it says that like uh, at, like peak speeds it, 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 it lags sometimes. But I, I honestly, it runs perfectly smooth on one bar of LTE service where I live. But actually, I got I actually get full bars of five G if I set my random play, which I do. So it's I can actually play it in my tent at night. It's a lot of fun. 5G there already? 5G E. Sorry. 5G E or 5G. Uh, okay. AT&T, so, boys. Uh, can I... Yes, anyway, Ben. Right, um... Oliver, that's enough. No more AT&T. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Okay, let's T- talk about... Friend Young <laughs> Justice. Excuse? What? Go ahead. Yeah, okay. So my friend... I have not watched... I don't watch TV. But my friend, Ethan, if you're watching... A lot of my friends actually watch this podcast. Hi, friends. Uh... Ethan is watching Young Justice, and he says it's very good, and he expects... Well, Young Justice or Young Justice Outsiders? Uh, I have no idea. Outsiders is the current one that's been going on, the, on I guess I guess it's called Outsiders, but it's, it's the current one's on DC, on the DC Universe uh, app. Young Justice was on Cartoon Network, like, at the same time Generator Rex was on Cartoon Network, and Ben 10 Ultimate Alien, so that really dates, like, yeah, so I want to say, like, 20, 2011. He's, the original. he's not watching Outcast, I don't think Outsiders is uh, I, mean, I, think, I think like the original one. I guess I think they, they kind of continued as season three on um, on the DC Universe app now. I guess, but like the original, like back when Young Justice was first on, it was on the same time as uh, Generator Rex and Ben Ten Ultimate Aliens. So that, I guess that really dates what time I was watching Cartoon Network then. Um, for me, uh, for me, I've been, I watched Superstore. Actually, um, I'm, I'm actually going to Southern Oregon University, and one of the actors, who, the guy who plays, I forget his name now. Um, I think his first name is Nico, but he plays. Um, uh, Mateo in Superstore, which is a really funny. I, I guess like if to, if I want to sum it up, it's kind of like the same sort of, um, kind of like almost hidden camera type documentary stuff as kind of like, as the American version of The Office, 
uh, but Only Defense is still going. It, I guess I, I would say it was one of NBC's, I guess, funnier shows at this point in time. But one of the guys who plays, uh, who, uh, Nico, I forget his last name, but um, he plays, uh, he plays uh, a guy named Mateo in Superstore. He actually went to Southern Oregon University. I actually Googled Southern Oregon University yesterday just for fun, and it's on the list of notable graduates. Uh, it's, it's, he's on there. So uh, kind of funny. Where do you find it? Where's Superstore? It's on. Uh, it's currently on. It's currently it's on Hulu. It's it's an NBC show. So if you have it, it's on there. Um, it's pretty funny. Is it not on Netflix? I uh, it 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 is not. If you have NBC on TV, it's probably on there as well. Uh, but it's on Hulu. I think it's also. It might be on Amazon Prime. Uh, actually, you know what? I've actually been doing this recently. If you Google a show or movie, if on on Google, and then you go to um, I think it's like I think it's called like Watch It Now or whatever it is on the on this on on like the tab, it'll actually show you like what platforms it's on. It's on. It's also. It's also on like some like really like. It's also it's also like a bunch of like the third party ones in order watches like Voodoo and Pluto so it's on those ones as well, but it's on uh, it's on Hulu, Roku. it's on <laughs> Roku, but it's on Hulu as well. Um, I've also been watching uh, Teen Titans still. I'm gonna start watching Young Justice and Young Justice Outsiders. I've also been watching Titans and Doom Patrol. I'm gonna I'm gonna binge like Titans. I'd say is not a binge watch show because it is pretty heavy certain episodes. Doom Patrol is like Titans, but just it's it's more funny and a bit you know immature with the humor. So it's. It has, a, it has a, actually, it has a pretty good plot, Doom Patrol, but it's, it's, again, pretty funny. So I think Doom Patrol is much, much better binge watch series. Again, Titans, Teen Titans, and Doom Patrol are all on, um, are all on, uh, the DC Universe app, as well as on Netflix. But to be fair, DC Universe is $7 a month versus renting, versus, I think, if, if, if you have that or just buy Titan Season 1 on, on Amazon for $24. So I think it's definitely worth it for me to get the, um, rent, to get a subscription for DC, uh, Universe. Cause also, I've, I've also been reading the, um, Teen Titans comics as well as the Raven comics, which are, despite the fact that they're Teen Titans, they're not exactly light comics. They're Raven, the Raven, the Raven standalone series especially is pretty dark. Um, anyway, um, so Ben, what do you, anything for film? No, I, I don't watch movies. Really? Nothing? Um, yeah, well, no, like my family knows there's a movie and I believe stopped doing that recently. Last uh-huh. movie I watched was the half of it and it was so good. And I told you guys about yeah, yeah, you mentioned that last time. So, so I, I watched uh, Demolition Man, which is fuck what you all say about it. It is, it is it's probably it's probably floating some of my top ten favorite films of all time. Hot Fuzz being number one. It is it is classic Sylvester Stallone nineties Wesley Snipes action cheese. It is amazing. It is it's it's on Hulu now. And actually, so uh, my family we used to have Hulu Plus, but I think now it's just back to Hulu. So we have ads, but with Hulu movies now, right? You get like one thirty second ad before the movie, and after that, it's just no ads the rest of the time, which is great. Um, so pretty much, actually, the thirty second ad gives me enough time to go ahead and get some popcorn and then get sit back down and watch the movie. But it is it, it's set in tw- I think it's like twenty thirty six or something like that, and it's absolute classic nineties action cheese. Wesley Snipes, Sylvester Stallone. This over the top rated R violence. It is, it's it's a, it's more of a it's a it's, it's more it's more of a comedy. It's more it's more of a violent comedy. It's just so basic premise is in twenty thirty six all crime has been eradicated. and The police department there is not is not meant to is not in any way shape or form prepared to handle the antics of Wesley Snipes, aka I think his name is Simon Phoenix. So, um, I think I think I think that's what his name was in the film. But it's pretty much an over the top nineties villain. It is so funny. I also watched Get Smart, which is a very meh, um, very meh version of very, like Get Smart was it originally? I think it was back in the sixties. Actually, a, uh, a a James Bond parody, to put it frankly, uh, written partially written by Mel Brooks was a TV show. I think it ran for four seasons. Absolutely fantastic. Exactly, it's still on Netflix DVD order service, a bunch of, as, as well as like Amazon. Uh, not Prime, it's not free, but the original TV, the original TV show is absolutely brilliant. They tried to bring it back and made a TV TV movie back in the eighties called Get Smart Again, which was horrible. Um, but the Get Smart t- two thousand eight t- the two thousand eight film, which actually they actually they actually got pretty fo- they actually got pretty far into production for a sequel before it got canceled um, for unknown reasons. But it was it's very cheesy and very cringy, but it's still funny. It's it's very much a quarantine film. Get Smart two thousand eight. And so Ben, again, anything else you want to talk about for media that you may have missed? No, I think I had en- I have enough. I had enough. All right. So, um, now, now, so as of before now, we're, this is kind of a little, I guess, I, I, so, I, was editing, I think it's like, so for me, normally when I edit the podcast, I notice like running jokes that we've been doing. So for the last two episodes, we've kind of been doing an accidental running joke that I want to keep going now. So um, pretty much, um, 
So for now, if you want to contact us, if it was like so, pretty much earlier on the show, we had or on the podcast, we had a we had a viewer mail segment, which was a lot of fun, which ended up being the funny place names. If you want to contact us and send us any ideas for segments, anything to talk about at all, uh, pretty much anything you put as a script for a cheesy '90s porno, send it to Jenkins one two three Jenkins one two three at gmail dot com. Once again, that's J E N K I N S one two three J E N K I N S one two three at gmail dot com. And uh, yeah, so stick around for the post show on SoundCloud. Otherwise, we'll see you in episode seven. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And um, yep, see you around.